A dog owner from Singapore has stirred up controversy by dyeing her three purebred chow chows to resemble pandas. The white fur dogs now have dyed black patches around their eyes, on their ears, and all over their bodies, making them look more like mini pandas than canines. And her dogs began to gain popularity after many Singaporean residents spotted them around town and posted photographs of them online. About a month ago, Zhang decided to make the most of the publicity and started a service called Panda Chow Chows that allows people to rent out her dogs for photo shoots. The couple revealed that they brought the three dogs with them from London when they moved to Singapore in October last year. They started by dyeing only one of the dogs, Yumi, because they thought the puppies were looking more and more like pandas as they grew older. Yumi loved it and Tudo and Dudu were really jealous of her. So we tried it with them and they all had a new level of energy after it was done, Zhang told Channel News Asia. Out on the streets people go crazy for them, she added. On Orchard Road last week, I think about 500 people must have taken photos of them or together with them in the space of three hours. Scores of people always kept coming over, wanting to take pictures with them. So I thought why don't we let people come over to our home and do shoots with the dogs. Why don't we go to people's homes and do shoots with the dogs? But ever since she started Panda Chow Chows, Zhang has come under heavy criticism for animal cruelty, and the Agri-Food and Veterinary Authority, AVA, of Singapore has started an investigation. The Society of Prevention for Cruelty to Animals, SPCA, also spoke out against Yang's actions. SPCA is strongly against such a practice and would advise pet owners to refrain from altering their pet's appearance in this way because it is unnatural and unnecessary, they said. There are also potential side effects with no benefits to the animals. It can be physically harmful and subject the animal to stress in the process. Animals have natural coats and should be appreciated for what they are, rather than trying to alter them artificially. Zhang, of course, is denying all allegations of cruelty and is calling her critics keyboard crusaders attempting to take some sort of moral high ground. On her website, the 27-year-old wrote that the dogs are naturally white, so she used 100% organic and natural colorant to dye portions of their fur black. The product we use is readily available off the shelf in Singapore and can be bought in Singapore at dog grooming stations, she wrote, adding that she employed a qualified dog groomer with over 10 years of experience. According to Zhang, two groomers were present during the process to ensure that none of the product was ingested by the dogs. Their eyes were also treated with meticulous care by applying the color with fingers, 30 millimeters to 1 centimeter away from the eyelids. The dye around the eyes was not washed away but wiped off, so none of it would get into the eyes. Being cruel to a dog is locking it up all day so it gets no exercise, starving a dog to death, not cleaning up after it and letting it live in its own filth. Being cruel to a dog is beating it, not dyeing your dog with 100% organic product, she wrote. She also explained that her dogs roam freely and play all day in her 3,500-square-foot home, which is always maintained at a comfy 20 degrees C. She claims that she feeds them the best dog food and gives them supplements twice a day. Bizarre dog grooming trends have been around for a while, like these square doggy haircuts in Taiwan, and puppies painted with toxic varnish in China. But it seems like these trends are relatively unheard of in Singapore. Although there are at least three local salons that offer pet dyeing services, dog groomers in the nation have told the media that very few pet owners actually go for it. And those who do only ask to dye a small portion of their dogs, so the panda chow chows are almost certainly a first. Meanwhile, internet users have expressed mixed feelings towards the panda dogs. Some people can't seem to get over how cute they are, while others think it's a terrible idea. Like Facebook user Babiana So, who wrote, I don't see the dogs as being cute. I see them as being abused. Zhang, however, has no patience for critics because she thinks they're being hypocrites. They are walked and exercised more than any of these people complaining actually walk and exercise their dogs, she said. Maybe they have been to see pandas at Singapore Zoo and exchanged money to do so for photos? Now you can see the total hypocrisy of these people.